Can you believe it? You've made it to episode three of Chelsea Unfiltered. So if you didn't know already, my name is Chelsea, aka The Real Chelsea J, and I'm here to keep it real with you. So honestly, I don't even know why I sung it. I'm just in a really good mood, y'all. Today has been so hot in Los Angeles. Um, but also, I don't know why I'm excited about that. For me, the heat honestly makes me sleepy. So I, I've been taking on and off naps. Just woke up, though, had me a burrito. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to record episode three of Chelsea Unfiltered. Like, I'm ready to give them what I've been thinking about. You know, what I want to share today. So um, before I get started with that. Did y'all feel that earthquake? Yeah, I was in my room, you know, laying my edges or whatever, and literally the room was shaking. Like, it was so scary. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not happening to me today. It's not happening to me today. But I bet you guys are wondering, like, well, what's the topic, Chelsea? What's the topic? You got a lot to chat to chat to, but you don't have much to say about what we're really talking about. Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, today's episode is going to be about that common phrase that we all hear. Now, there's a lot of common phrases, but this is the one I know everyone has heard. When you go into the room, you're like, one, two, three. How many people have heard this? At least one of the three. Out of One out of three people have heard this saying. And it's sick of being sick and tired. Now, I was wondering, like, why do I want to talk about this today? Or, like, what specifically? But then I thought about, um, about a week ago, I was in prayer And I was just so frustrated. I was so frustrated because I keep on facing the same things. I keep on facing these battles in my mind and I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of getting angry so quickly. I'm so tired of being stressed out, you know, and it's so exhausting. And you become literally sick and tired of being sick and tired, like tired of doing the same thing. So I wanted to provide you with, of course, some hope and some insight that if you are in that season or if you are feeling that way, that girl, we in the same boat. We are in the same boat. And um, I want to bring out my laptop to y'all and share y'all a song that really came to mind with this. And um, it goes, fear you don't own me. There's no room in the story. But the beginning of the song says, sick and tired of being sick and tired, had enough that had more than you can take. So with this song, it's so interesting because it, it tells you when you become sick and tired of sick and tired, that's, she's saying, fear you don't hold me anymore. So when you're becoming sick and tired of being sick and tired, it's associated with fear. It's associated with anxiety. It's, a, it's associated with being in control. I hope you guys are getting what I'm picking up when I'm putting down. So basically, if you are sick of being sick and tired, that is time to get up. It's time to keep going. It's time to get up out of that bed, get up out of that grave, get up out of that situation and rise. How do you become sick? Of, uh, how do you get out of being sick of being sick and tired? You fight and you, you we don't fight around here just to fight, just to tussle. No, we fight to win. And we already won because we already got the victory. Like I shared with you guys in episode one, how we've already won. It's already finished. It's done. So I want to share this song with y'all so we can, you know, get the feels of what I'm trying to get to you about just being sick and being sick of being sick and tired and the frustration that it comes with it. Honestly, my goal of this episode really is just to lay it out there. I don't have really any like answers or things like that, but I'm just here to share what's really going on with me and how it can um, relate to you and help you get through whatever you're going through. Like just a hope, a smile, a little something, something, because with having like nothing, it's better to have something is better than nothing. Okay. You catch my drift. You catch my drift. But yeah, I I thought I was going to write some notes or something. So like, you know, it's not like awkward silence while I find stuff, but we're just going to let the Lord lead you dig. Oh, also, I don't know, like comment below your like current drink obsessions right now. Like for the summer, two of my favorites, if you know already, is San Pellegrino Blood Orange. I haven't got them yet, but my sister's coming in town, so I will be picking those up. And my second favorite right now is Arnold Palmer's. 
Like, I don't know who Arnold is, but he did his thing, mixing that lemonade and that sweet tea. I love drinking that for the summer. Matter of fact, let me grab my cup real quick before we go any further. Also, since I have a mic now, I totally can do them uh, ASMRs. All right, let's find this song that I told y'all about. Breakup song. Yep, this is the one I wanted y'all to hear. Again, I will be linking this one in my bio as well. I was going to use my speaker today, but it's kind of like, no. Because I still don't know how to um, set it up with my um, set it up with my computer. Because I told y'all the Bluetooth thing. But So the song is Francesca Ballastelli. Is that what I said? I thought it was Lauren, but it is Francesca. Like, so Francesca, the breakup song. I'm gonna read y'all the lyrics and then I'm gonna play the song. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Had so much as you as I can take. I'm so done. I'm so over being afraid. I've gone through the motions. I've been back and forth. I know that you're thinking you've heard it before. So I'm not gonna say it. So now I'm gonna just say it. Fear you don't own me. There's no r- room in the story. And I ain't got time for you telling me what I'm not. Like I know me well. Guess what? I know who I am. Y'all, drop the mic. It's basically saying all this sick. Okay, I'm exhausted with this. I'm done with this. But guess what? I know my my identity. I know who I am. I know who I belong to. And that's so important to know who you are in Christ, because we can fall into this world, into this culture, into these different identities that they try to put us in, put us into boxes. I was even watching a video this morning about how we can do not um, car. Wait, how do you say it? compartmentalize your faith because when we're putting our faith in a box oh i'm just going to do five minutes here five minutes there no our faith needs to be in every single area because that's going to what's going to anchor us that's what's going to you know i'm thinking of like an air balloon and like hold us together but like that's what's going to keep it all together it's when we have god at the front everything else will fall together i remember always saying that at a young age like well if i have god everything else will work out and it's so true it's when you put your faith in him then he will allow everything else and what she was saying about you know car don't um compartmentalize your faith like don't put it in a box and that's the same thing with you're sick and tired of being sick and tired don't put those frustrations in just a box no let you know express those to god put your feelings out there and it's when you surrender yourself to god that you're really going to have an encounter with him a personal encounter that will change you forever it's in those little moments It's in those times where we're not just saying god is good but we're also saying god i need you God, I can't make it without you. God, I am nothing. You are my everything. And when we get to a place like that with God, then we are able to increase. We are able to go glory to glory. We are able to, you know, light that that fire that's in us for it to keep going. So with that being said, are sick and tired of being sick and tired because that's the topic we're going to listen to the song that has to do with it. That was so unnecessary fire right now stay in that spirit of i'm about to break something i'm about to get out of this season of frustration i am not bound to this the enemy has no hold over my family the enemy has no hold over my addiction the enemy has no hold over my mindset the enemy has no hold over my friends no you do not belong here you're not part of my story yeah this is just a season but god is my forever okay So as we listen to this, remember to start testifying. Speak over your situation. I'm so done, so over being afraid. I've gone through the motions, I've been back and forth I know that you're thinking you've heard this before I don't know how to say it So I'm just gonna say it Yeah Fear you don't hold me There ain't no room in this story Here it is again She said, in case you didn't hear it, here it is again. And that's what you need to say over your sick and tired of sick and tired. 
here it is. Here it is again. Here's my frustration. Here's where I'm at. But guess what? I believe that you are God. I believe that you are faithful. I need to strengthen my faith. I need to come back to the source. I need to, you know, lay it all at his feet and everything else will follow. When I just lay it at your feet, I lay it at your feet. I lay it at your feet, Lord. I lay my frustrations at your feet, Lord. I give it to you, Lord. I give it to you. And give it to him, y'all. I'm here to tell you. Yeah, so it's okay to be sick. And, it's okay to be sick. <laughs> sick of being sick and tired. I want to end you with the scripture. Hebrews 11 through. 11 through. Hebrews 11 through. By faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Everything that you're going through, I want you to replace the word universe with whatever your situation is, whatever you're believing God for, whatever it is. For me, I could say by faith, we understand that my career was created by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. By faith, we understand that the res restoration of my family was created by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. What you may want, what you, what you may want, what you may desire may be something that you cannot see. But guess what? God made it. He created it. And he will make a way out of no way. That thing that you're dreaming of will take place. But it takes you saying, I'm sick of being sick and tired. Okay? So, um, oh, also I forgot to tell y'all, I'm rocking the all natural. This is what my hair looks like. If you were wondering, you probably weren't, but I just wanted a reason to talk about my hair. Anyways, y'all, I love the Lord so much. I love that I decided just to come back on here. No really pressure, just coming as me with all my personality and all my, you know, fun, quirkiness, goofiness, but also just love and passion that I'm not just like, you know, on the surface level with things, but I really want to go deep, dig deeper. So if you have any, you know, questions, comments, maybe there's a specific topic you had in mind or anything of that nature, I would love to hear it. And I want to thank you for, you know, watching this video all the way through. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.